to the Delilah Show. Look, I am so excited to have you with us. Now we're on YouTube weekly at 8 p.m. on Thursdays. How wonderful, and I just love seeing you. So please, please subscribe to our channel and get your friends too. Anyway, let's get on with the show. Well, viewers, I'm with Clara, and every time I see Clara, and I keep saying every time I see you, how beautiful you look. Mm. <laughs> oh, Delilah, come on. We all know oh, who's the gorgeous I one is know, here. I know, well, I know I try, and, and I've got a wonderful makeup artist, Cindy, who yes. helps, helps out and takes her hours and hours and hours to make <laughs> me look beautiful, and I do tonight. I must admit, the makeup looks gorgeous. What oh, do you think? it's, I'm falling in yeah. love. <laughs> well, you know, it's really nice to be pampered. That's what I love. I love to be pampered and get my nails done and, and um, you know, have make my makeup done. It's just a beautiful thing. What do you think? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm enthralled by it. It's, it's great. You I like that too? I look away. You, yeah, you, you yeah. like to? You, yes. you like getting pampered? Oh, no, I mean you. you oh, no, I, I, know. <laughs> I know. I know I have that effect on a lot of people, I can tell you. Um, it's just one of those things. But the thing is, I, it, it's a mesmerising thing, isn't it? When you look at my face, it, you can't take your eyes off it. And, yes. and I notice a lot of people that are watching us, yeah. they can't keep their eyes off it. And, and I know, I know, I look beautiful. Um, and, well, to some people. But um, but anyway, and the great thing is Clara thinks I look beautiful and you're my best friend forever, you know that, don't you? I know, I know. Can we do a little fingers? A little... Thank you. <laughs> and anyway, can you tell me more about when you get pampered? I mean, what, is, what, is, what happens? Who pampers you and where do you go to get pampered? Do you go to a spa and get all the nails done and all that sort of stuff? Um, my younger sister... Um, uh, gets uh, like presents for me like to get uh, massages oh, and stuff like that so really? she's awesome yeah oh, that's great and what yeah. else does she does she pay for other things yeah yeah sometimes she you know gets coffee and dessert and it's really wonderful coffee if you and put all of it together oh, okay so you have a coffee and dessert when you're in the spa um afterwards usually afterwards yeah. okay so yeah. you go in the spa and then have coffee and dessert afterwards yeah okay yeah. that sounds great and then well, not to the gym, but... <laughs> you, don't, you don't do that at the gym? <laughs> no. Okay, so you don't have the spa after the gym. But a lot of a lot of gyms have spas. Did you know that? Yes. I know at the ship, when the ship I was on last year, they had a spa and you could go have it like go to the gym and afterwards just relax in the spa and have a, a wine or whatever. And I must admit, in my new outfit, my new bathing costume, I did look gorgeous. I must admit, it was really, really lovely. But, you know... But the funny thing about it, when I wore my bathing costume, there wasn't anyone in the gym, or I don't know whether I had an effect on people. It, wow, that is amazing. It, it does happen. It does yeah. happen. I just wondered whether, you know, maybe they're all going out to dinner and maybe they didn't want to see Delilah in the bathing costume and I felt a teeny bit upset, but that's okay. Oh. I got over it in a minute and then I wore my second bathing costume the next day and they... And they all got out of the spa when I jumped in. But that's okay. That's okay. I understand they had to go places. Yes. But anyway, look, it's lovely talking to you. Well, and Clara, it's just wonderful. And we've been best friends for ages. Thank you have. so much. And I do this with lovely friends. This week we're going to talk about the Hessian sack. Well, the Hessian sack we used to put on the side of the, of the window. And you used to put a little bit of water on it and that used to keep us cool because that saves money instead of using electricity that's what Lucky Fred does you know he'd like you just put it in the side there in your window it's very very good and also you can use it to collect crabs and put your crabs in it as well the old passion sack and mum used to make a you know like a you know, some clothes a little shorts for Lucky Fred little when I was a little nipper, I used to have little Hessian shorts. I used to have, walk around, and a good friend Charlie used to have the same as well. Well, anyway, we'll see you then. Lucky Brad, see you next week, boy! Right, viewers, I'm back with Cindy and Henry, my love of my life. <laughs> 
I mean, Henry, look, he's been away for so, and it's just so, it's so... Two weeks on, two weeks I off. I know, and when he comes back, I'll tell you what. Life is busy, I bet. It she is, does the cooking. She does the cooking. I don't want to see any more meat between the Look, it's extremely busy, isn't it? It's extremely busy. We get very, very busy doing very busy things. Uh -huh. But I won't share that with the viewers, but it does happen. Um, but anyway, look, one of the things Cindy wanted to talk to us about, now what was it? It was a subject you were really deep in your heart. Really? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And you, you wanted to tell me something that you, you haven't shared with many people. And you know what that it could is? be scary. Why? <laughs> no idea. Why? why you? Well, you want to know why you wear red shoes. Oh, red shoes. Because she wants to be Dorothy. <laughs> Is it Dorothy? <laughs> yeah, Dorothy. <laughs> well, well, it's was funny you say that, because I, I, I love The Wizard of Oz and Dorothy. I, I, I do, and Toto, Toto is like a little baby. Well, I like the lion. Yeah, I like the lion too, but... Um, and the team somewhere, man. But I just want my favourite well, song, Somewhere Over the Rim. But look, it's a, just a wonderful, wonderful film. And is that why you wore red shoes? Absolutely. And a red top. And a red and top. And a red top yeah. as well. Because yes. um, I really love red tops. I know. And I love you in red. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Lady in red. Oh, I know. I know. I, look, when he, oh, 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 when he oh. serenades me, I get ro romantic and oh. I get little, little goosebumps down my spine. You know that? Because you're my little rosebud and I'm your really nearly. Yeah, what, what, what's that little song we sing? What is it? Willy nearly. You're my little rosebud, I'm your really nearly. When we go yes, down I'm... the beach, we're going to say wheelie. Yeah, I know, I know. Isn't that romantic? <laughs> I mean, I like fish. I, it's so romantic, I, I just get goosebumps. As I said, I just love Henry, and it's great having me. Cindy there. And the so same that's, men that's men what, things. this is what you found out that Cindy wears red shoes on set. And their tomatoes are red. Yes, that's right. But anyway, that's still like it is, <laughs> and it really makes a lot of sense. It's still like it is this week. We do, we do. We we do. Right, viewers, with, with Bruce. Now, Bruce. And I go back a long way, don't we, Bruce? Yeah. <laughs> Bruce actually did the artwork for uh, our Fringe show. Um, uh, wonderful artist. And uh, one thing everybody commented about the show we did called The Daisy Sisters was uh, his artwork, you know. Uh, th the thing was, the backdrop was probably um, so good that, you know, you'd, you'd be able to sell it. But the thing is, is that it wouldn't fit anyone in anyone's living room because it's so big, because <laughs> you know, being for a theatre show, of course. But uh, Bruce, lovely to meet you, mate, again. Yeah. And uh, tell us a little bit about your art that you've got here tonight. Um, I uh, said uh, some months ago that I would paint uh, live uh, in the library on opening night. Yeah. And so I've it's finally, finally got a design up onto a piece of board and started working on it today. It's been a long process um, um, of making decisions about you know what building to choose and and exactly what part of the building to, to mm. paint. Yep. So what made um, you choose this area? Uh, I just chose Beehive Corner because I thought it would be a, a beautiful, interesting, uh, and uh, uh, subject to paint. Um, but it's also turned out to be one of the most difficult buildings I think I could have chosen as well. It's a very I found out as I found out it's a very complicated uh, structure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and. How do you get everything in perspective? You know, what I mean, is that, how hard is that? Um, I'm not too bad with perspective and proportion. Mm. Um, it's I'm, I'm finding um, some eight months since I've finished painting classes that uh, getting back into my painting, I've suddenly have realised uh, I didn't know as much about colour theory as I thought I did, and. There's lots to learn about my painting technique, and I don't know. I've I found it hard just getting back into my painting and trying yep. to get something finished and resolved in a way I'm happy with. Yep. The actual structure and the perspective and what have you has not been a problem. It's just trying to get things to look right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I I think art is wonderful anyway. I mean, um, you've got a great style and. Uh, as the other artists have as well, but um, and what's the new collective? Though? What is it called? Your Art Sparks Collective. Art Sparks. And and what what what? <laughs> I'm trying to get it out. 
What is the reason you said art sparks? I mean, I'm trying to get it out. It's a mouthful for me. <laughs> art sparks collective. Um, well, it's it's a way of um, former students to maintain the momentum after art school of uh, producing work and having exhibitions. Yeah, it's I very hard on your own to, yeah. to keep it going. Yeah, well, it's good. I reckon it's a great idea, and uh, I must admit, I, I'm impressed with all the art as normal. Uh, and again, you know, Bruce is a, a, a absolutely wonderful artist. He 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 does wonderful backdrops for theatre companies, and uh, ours was especially wonderful. It was very uh, everybody commented and loved the uh, great got the backdrop. But we also love your art as well. So, but uh, yeah. So the um, how long does it sort of take to do? You know, like I, I was I know I've asked this question many times. Um, you know, how long does it take you to do the art? Is it, you know, like to start off in, the, you know, the first draft? This has taken a long time from the idea, you know, several months ago that I would do Behind Corner mm. to finally deciding I'll do that small portion of it. And I've been thinking, should I do an image of how it looks during the day? I actually decided it better at night. Mm -hmm. I mean, going past it continuously. It's actually yes. been a long process of trying to decide how best to tackle the subject yes. uh, and um, you know in the last few days I've realised actually what a difficult subject I had chosen and yep. hence I've reduced it down to a very small corner of the whole building because I, I bit off more than I could chew. Really. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah it still looks pretty really good so don't you know. I, I think it's excellent. But thank you so much, uh, Bruce, for coming on the show. No worries. And uh, please keep up the good work. <laughs> thank you. And uh, happy selling. <laughs> so. Thank you. Okay. Right, viewers, look, I've got my husband back from the oil rig, and it's great. I get so excited when he's back because it's just exciting because he makes my dinner. And We've gone out for dinner tonight, love. Like. I know, he's yeah. so romantic. Anyway, this is. Uh, sort of friend, Julian Gade. Gade. Julian yes. Gade. Gade. Anyway, Gade. Julian, he's a driving instructor in South Australia. Now tell us a bit about the driving drivers in Adelaide, South Australia, please. Well, I've seen a few drivers come. I've seen a few drivers go. I've seen some really good drivers, but I've seen some really bad drivers too. I've just completed a novel, a book, yes. Uh, non-fiction about um, a really bad experience I had with probably the worst driver I've ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. um, he's he can't, he can't he can't go near a car ever. He's not allowed in a car. I've, we've got like an order sign, and if he is caught in a car, he goes to prison. Right. Okay. Now the name of the book is called Driving Me Around the Bend. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a great title. Well, that that is. Ooh. Title. Yes, any, anyway, and tell us more. Well, um, this book, I don't want to mention the name of the, I don't want to mention the name of the student, because he, if I mention the name, then we'll bring back all that bad um, stuff. Okay, it's all right, but okay. let, let's, let's move on a little bit and talk about what the Adelaide drivers are really like, and... and and how you cope with them when, the, when you're trying to teach one of those wonderful students? Well, they must really pay attention. A good driver is a good listener. Um, I've had a few really bad experiences. I had a bad experience with a girl in a car once, mm -hmm. teaching her to drive. Mm -hmm. It took a couple of years right. um, because she, um, I told her she had a problem with um, three-point turns. What was happening right. was she was putting into someone's driveway right. like that. Yes pulling back out mm -hmm. and going that yes. way. Right. And I, I, I kept trying to explain to her, right. a three-point turn, you pull in, yes. you go that way, and then you go the way you came in. Yes. But she, um, I, I, was, I was trying to get this through to, in, to a, like it took me about a year to right. actually, for mm -hmm. her to get it. Okay. So, yep. But that was a lot of money she was um, giving yes. me too, because yeah. okay. I charge, um, what I do, I. I'm pretty dear. I charge eighty four bucks a lesson. Really? That's, that's for half. Well, it's for half an hour. So yeah, that, that's it's a bit that's, steep. That's, I, that's a good you know, price, isn't it? I don't mind. Mm, yeah. Yes. Make, I'm living well too. Yes. Often, so. yeah. Are you awake for this thing? Beautiful. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying I'm, to keep him awake. But yeah, look, your husband. Yes. 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 I know. And any look, mm. he needs some brush up lessons. So I think I'll it's kind of cute. Put him. I think it's kind of cute. Yes. Well, I know. I know. But I'm married. Yes, I'm married, and don't. Move on with my husband, thank you. But anyway, look, um, 
I think we'll organise some more lessons for you, okay? Just a, a oh, bar. Oh, yeah, I love, I love a lesson, Henry. Yeah, oh. that's fine. Okay. Oh, no I'm worries. Busy. I love a lot of I'm busy for the next 10 years. Okay, okay. Well, well, maybe we'll organise it another time. Okay, all right. Well, thank you so much, Julian, and uh, Henry's great to have you back with us. Good to be oh, back. Oh, I just oh. love him home. Well, that's the way you want to play it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, thank you, Julian, for coming on. My pleasure. Bye. 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 Well, viewers, look, I've got Cindy back. And hi, Cindy. Hello, Delilah. It's lovely to see oh, you. Oh, you say the <laughs> loveliest things. You're always, always bright and cheerful. That's what I love. I love my friends because they're always bright and cheerful. So um, today we're going to talk about something which us girls love. And one of the things I love is jewellery. I just love it. Yeah, as you can see, I've got lots of little bangles and little nice necklaces. necklaces yes. It's not a bangles, a necklace. But I just love all those things and bangles <laughs> and all that all that sort of thing. But Absolutely. Tell us about the earrings you're wearing. The earrings, they're beautiful. I actually sell them and um, they're, a, um, they're from Envy. And um, they have lots of different um, range of colours. They have... Um, uh, uh, rose gold, gold, silver, they do earrings, they do rings, they do um, bangles, chains, beautiful jewellery. Great. Very I, good quality. I, look, I just love the colour of that. that I mean, the, it just picks up the light, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very, and they're very light. Yeah. These are very light to wear. And, and is it like day wear? You can, is that money day wear? Or you can, um, wear, that you could wear that You could wear that at night time. Yeah. Uh, I, um, yeah. These come in. These come in gold and rose gold and yes. the silver. Yeah. Um, but yeah. they're they're just so elegant. And so how elegant. long's Envy been going? Is it? Um, for a number of years now. For mm -hmm. a number of years. Um, yeah. it was actually um, it's two brothers that actually designed the jewellery. Oh right. Okay. And, and um, uh, they they sort of do it like party plan. Um, great. But, yeah. Great. And so, how long have you been doing it? Just a little uh, while. Or? Yeah, just a little while. Yeah. Okay. But um, absolutely yeah. loving it. Yeah, it's beautiful jewellery. Yeah, yeah. And the quality is just exceptional. Good. Just exceptional. Well, it's I, beautiful. Yeah. No. Well, I I love them and I'm jealous because <laughs> yeah. I haven't got any beautiful jewellery like that. But but anyway, look. Can you come back and tell us and bring more back home? Absolutely, I'd love to. Very good. Thanks. Okay, you take care. You too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, wasn't that a wonderful show? And I just love seeing you. But please, please subscribe. And we'll see you next Thursday at 8pm. See you then. Bye.